by definition continuous murma is one which starts in systole and continues through the second heart sound into diastole it need not be present throughout the cardiac cycle classical continuous murmur is the murmur of patent ductus arteriosus with left right shunt it is best heard in the upper left sternal edge and is known as gibson's murmur in gibson's area when pulmonary hypertension develops the diastole component is lost and sometimes it is called atypical pda with only a systolic murmur severe pulmonary hypertension can manifest with a diastolic murmur of pulmonary regurgitation differential cyanosis with cyanosis confined to lower extremities is a hallmark of pda flow reversal coronary arteriovenous fistulas can also cause continuous murmurs though not as loud as the murmur of pda a variant is coronary cameral fistula draining into the cardiac chambers we had reported a case in which a fistula involving three major coronary arteries drained to the left ventricle and presented with an apical diastolic murmur mimicking that of mitral stenosis interestingly the person was asymptomatic rupture of aortic sinus of valsalva into right sided cardiac chambers is another cause of continuous murmur the classical form of rsov into rv has a murmur with diastolic augmentation this contrasts with the peaking of pda murmur around the second heart sound diastolic augmentation of rsov to rv murmur is because the tract from aorta usually passing through the right ventricular outflow tract gets compressed by muscle contraction in systole if the rsov is into the left ventricle it can present with diastolic murmur but that is quite rare cervical venous hum a common finding in children especially in those with anemia can be confused with the pda murmur it is heard well over the neck and upper thorax and changes with position of neck and body may be heard only in sitting position and disappears with compression of the lower part of neck as it is due to flow in the jugular veins aorta pulmonary window is another rare cause of continuous murmur but most often continuous murmur may not be heard because of early development of pulmonary hypertension we had the